We've got more live action still to come on Southeastern Television Wrestling. Certainly no worry right now from uh, Austin Idol. We do not know what his situation is. I don't mean to interrupt, but a few minutes ago I was walking in the building. They were taking Idol out of the building. He's bleeding out of the mouth. What's going on? What's Stud trying to do? Well, uh, you know, it was just two weeks ago that I took his place right here, and they jumped him on the side of the road. They're, they're trying to kill a man, I guess. What else can you say? Well, uh, I'm glad you brought up the fact of uh, two weeks ago speaking out of that. It, it kind of reminded me of two weeks ago, and I've asked our director to go back and pull the uh, a part of uh, two weeks ago's television program in which uh, Idol was late showing up for a championship match. Let's roll that, get into that, and take a look at what did take place uh, as you had taken the place of That's Idol right. in the championship match. Golden tried to finish me with a knee right there, and I moved out of the way and commenced to Jack and Jaws like I love to do so well, brother. I was skipping and zipping, had things going pretty good, and you're going to see a bad bump right here when I went right straight back, hit the referee, and that's all that Tennessee stud was waiting on. They're just waiting on a chance to come in there and do some damage because you can see Golden flat of his back, and I just started up to my feet, and you're going to see the big crunch. And, brother, my lights went out. I didn't know what was happening or who was happening or anything else. I was just trying my best to keep my senses about me, and they come in to jabbing that stick in my head. I mean, they've been left a scar. You can see it right there, Charlie. They left a scar right into that eyebrow right there that I'll have to, I can remember this from now on. I ain't never going to forget it. And I guarantee you one thing, Idol's not a quitter, but he's hurt bad. They're on the way to the hospital right now. Now, you can see they're having a field day here. They're really kicking booties and taking names. They're throwing people around. They're doing everything they can do and continually coming back and knocking me in the head. See that? Look at that. But I'm going to tell you, brother, the old jaw jacker's head is hard. The head of the bullet is hard. They left some scars, brother, but they didn't knock me completely out. And you go see in a minute, I just get one little lick. And one little lick is all I wanted if I could just got my hands on his throat and just got that top hat and put it where it needs to be put. Now right here you can see they're still beating on me and here comes they're just knocking everybody around and continually coming back and just beating my noggin like I mean they're having a field day, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say they're having a field day on the bullet? Well, they got the whole stud stable out there. There's some wrestlers coming in trying to help you out, but they're being cut off by, like, the Lord Humongous. Well, they got the whole field advantage. They're on the high ground up there, and they're knocking people off the ring as they come in. But you're going to see in a minute now, thank goodness for Mr. Olympia, he got some some hardware. He got some furniture. He moved some furniture, mister, and he tried to come in that ring, and that gave me just a minute, just a minute to get a break. You're going to watch. There comes Bobby Cash. He got rid of Humongous. Still, I'm having to take a beat. Brother, they must have beat me for 30 minutes. It felt like two hours, but they're still beating on me. Now, wait just a minute. You're going to see something else. There goes another one down. Now, Mr. Olympia ain't going to stand. Here's where he becomes a furniture mover, grabs a chair, and, brother, he's coming in for it. Now, they both have to go to keep him out. Now, watch. Just a second. I just get one lick, one lick at that Tennessee stud, brother, and there he went. He bit the dust. Another one bites the dust, and now they all scattered. And I want to thank Mr. Olympia right now. I don't know what would happen. I might be in, uh, next to the hospital bed with uh, Austin Idol. I don't know, but uh, thank goodness he came in. Now, you can see where they stuck that. Uh, he busted that thing over my head, that cane, and run it right into my head. I mean, you know, just a splintered head. Yeah. Brother, that ain't, that ain't fun at all. He's gone too far. Well, they put that cane into good use just a couple of minutes ago. That's part of why Austin went out of here. You know, Idol was badly hurt out here about it. The two creeps that talk about blood being thicker than water, in our case, that is not true. And I got something to say about it. Now, Austin Idol won't be in the ring with Jimmy Golden, but I'm going to be on the contract. And if it's the last damn match I ever had in my life, I'm going to be in that ring with Jimmy Golden. And Ron Fair, you want to shimmy up that thing, get your ladder or something, slide over in there. So you put your hands on me and you fool with me your first time, brother, and you're going to find out Rob is a new man. I'm going to work you over, Jimmy yeah. Golden. I'm going to take you and work you over for what you did to Idol. And they do. They do. Robert Fuller now substituting for Austin Idol in the arenas. Uh, That's going to be an interesting match. Yes, it there. is. We still got another match uh, lined up here for television today. Uh, and that